back here, Fire Radio Boston. That was the Jupiter and Railroad Earth, and uh, we're now back with some uh, reception reports from our last show. Would you like to read one, uh, Mr. Excellent? Sure. The first one is from, excuse me, our good friend uh, Harry Smith, and he says, "Hi, Charlie. Good to hear you again. How are things up your way? Well, so far so good. Uh, great signal tonight. SIO four, four, four." Heard your first program of 2012 on 6925 AM at 0133 to 0230. I'm using a JRC 535D nice radio, Harry, with a 66 attic dipole antenna. Also use a Grove tuner. Foray, and he'd like the latest QSO for his ever growing collection. And say hi to Mr. X for me. And that's um, Harry Smith out in Springfield, Ohio. And having seen Harry's collection, I would say it's quite the collection. The CPRV would love to get their hands on that one. Yeah, Harry has a uh, good collection of QSLs, I have heard. And we're certainly looking forward to seeing Harry probably at a Winterfest coming up. He says he might uh, come to the next Winterfest. Yeah, that'd be great. We missed him at the last couple. Love him. He's a great guy. He is. He's an old guy, but he's not a bad guy for an old guy, as we like to say, right? We're all getting older, Harry, so uh, we won't never catch up with you, but we're getting to that point. So I have a letter here from, uh, let's see here, from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. That would be Cork. LT Easterly, or Cork, as she likes to be called. She had a, a uh, signal strength of SIO 232 in New Smyrna. Uh, signal clear, off voice a little low, and tough here to pick out. We all, but we also have adjacent digital noise on the frequency locally. And she sent us a recording of the, of our broadcast. I want to thank you for that, Quark. And uh, we did send you that QSL card by email. So we're quite sure that you got it. So uh, one more letter here from, I think this guy goes to the Winterfest, uh, Tim Rato. Does that name sound familiar to you, Mr. Excellence? I think I've seen him at the Winterfest. It doesn't sound familiar to me, but it doesn't mean um, we, I haven't met him. I just, yeah, I think, Tim, you go to the Winterfest. I think I know what you look like. Uh, anyway, he says he is from, uh, where is he from? I think he's from Iowa, but anyway. Oh, good signal into Iowa. Yes, he's from Iowa. Hey there, Pi Radio Boston. Just wanted you to know you're making a good trip to Iowa this evening. Without the preamp on, you're pushing the meter on the FT2000 to S9 on peaks. I just heard you mention a band from England called the XX and how they had to record in a garage because they had no money. Well, that's true. They even had to be careful not to disturb their neighbors. And you also heard Regina Spectre a little later on. Like I said, the signal is strong, but with a fair amount of fading. Still a great copy, though, on an exceptionally quiet night, SIO of 444. Well, thanks, Tim, for your report, and I'm quite sure that you got your QSL. So I'm going to turn the microphone back to Mr. Excellence, Mr. X, and he's going to introduce another song that we're going to play. Okay, this is going to be a little change from the last song. This is the original Alice Cooper band. And the name of the song is Hello Hooray. And figuring it's our 20th anniversary, why not celebrate? Uh, this song was written by a person that was uh, crippled in a wheelchair. And it's been re-recorded many times by other, other people, but it remains one of the original Alice Cooper band's um, best songs. And... Um, for you music um, lovers, there's a reason why Alice's first four or five albums on Warner Brothers are four-star albums and the solo stuff isn't nothing against Alice, but that was a crack band, and um, they are missed. They are missed, and I think Alice Cooper was in the movie uh, that I saw, Dark Shadows. Yeah, he, he had a little. Yeah, he played at a party in Dark Shadows. He didn't look too bad for. Uh, actually, the funny thing is, Alice does have a new album out, and uh, with the uh, surviving members of the original band, they do two or three songs, and those are the only songs worth listening to on the album. So again, it says something. All right, so let's listen to that Alice Cooper song right now here on Pirate Radio Boston. 